the interest rates will rise. Maybe not this year, maybe not this month, maybe not three years from now, they will rise. Originating from deep inside the Rocky Mountains, transported through the power of the internet, and arriving inside your tiny earbuds, it's the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Minisode. 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 Welcome back to another mini-sode, everyone. Dustin Harris hanging out in the podcast chair. I want to tell you about a true story that happened to me just recently. And then when we get back from the break, I want to share with you some principles, some business principles that you might want to think through as you go through the process of running your appraisal business. Speaking of running your appraisal business, how are you running yours? Do you want some technology that will help you to run it better? Of course you do. It's A-Now Software. You can find them at anow.com, A-N-O-W. Com. Well, folks, as I get older, I start to realize that, by golly, retirement's coming up. <laughs> Are you prepared, Dustin? And the honest answer is not as much as I would like to be. Uh, I certainly have saved money and invested over the years, but uh, there are certainly some ducks that I would like to get in a row before I get closer to retirement. One of those is the opportunity to have more passive income. And I have made the decision this past year in 2020, I made the decision that I would jump both feet back into the real estate investing world. Part of that is finding opportunities throughout the country to do either short or long-term rentals. Now, when I say across the country, I live in an area right now that is absolutely saturated. Uh, the values are high, they're going higher, and it's just not a great investment area. When I say it's saturated, it is absolutely soaking wet with other investors, and opportunities are just few and far between unless it is your full-time gig. And when I say that, I mean unless you are constantly on the lookout and networking and looking and uh, mining for those deals, they will pass you by and someone else will pick them up first. It's just not the best buyer's market, if you will, for investors where I live. And so I made the decision here recently that uh, I would not limit myself to having to touch and feel and smell and walk through the properties that I invest. Therefore, it gives me a much more latitude to invest throughout the country. And I found little pockets throughout the country that have a low barrier to entry, have a pretty good cash flow, and have some, not great, but some opportunity for appreciation long term. I recently flew out to one of these areas simply to check it out, not necessarily to pick up a, a couple of properties, but at least to get a feel for what the area is like. Again, not necessary. Individuals who do long-term invest or long-distance rather investing will tell you that you never need to go to these areas. The numbers are the numbers and they speak for themselves, but you definitely have to have a team of people that are boots on the ground that you trust, that you can network with, that, that will do what needs to be done for you. Recently went out to one of these areas and I found a couple of properties that I was very interested in making an offer on. One of the key team members to your core individuals or your network that you need to network with if you're going to invest long distance is but um bum an appraiser. I just think this is an invaluable individual in addition to a real estate agent and a property inspector and a property manager and a maintenance individual, somebody who can fix these properties up for you. You need an appraiser. You need somebody who understands the local market. You need to have somebody who has access to the data that you don't necessarily have long distance. I mean, folks, if you have not picked up on this already, this is a great opportunity for you to market to these out of state investors who might be investing in your area. Recently, as I mentioned, I went out to one of these areas. I found a couple of properties. And I reached out to no less than four appraisers in the area, okay, four appraisers. Now, let me tell you what my speech was to these individuals and let me tell you what their answer was. I was finally able to find an appraiser after the fourth try, but the first three tries were absolutely almost identical to one another in the scope of what happened in the process. This is how it, it, it played out. I would find an appraiser through my own network and I would reach out to that individual and I would say, hi, my name is Dustin Harris. I happen to be an appraiser in Idaho as well. That's not why I'm calling you. I'm calling you because I am a real estate investor and I have found a couple of properties that are in the area that you work. At least I think they're in the area that you work. Here are the addresses. Are these areas that you cover? Yes, they are. Great. I am reaching out to you to develop a long-term relationship. The purpose is not to order one or two appraisals today, although that is a sub purpose. It is to develop a relationship with you long term because I plan on buying up to 10 doors in your area in the next 
two to three years. And I would like to have an individual that I can count on that can work with me to help me to assess these properties. I'm not necessarily looking for a full GPAR appraisal. Uh, more or less, I just need to know that I'm not overpaying for the property. And I need somebody who can possibly do a restricted use report and work with me. Again, we're talking a long-term relationship in every single case. Number one, it was almost impossible to get a hold of anybody. I sent emails, I sent texts, I left voicemails, and I could not get people to call me back. I was persistent. I finally got a hold of each of these individuals and gave them the elevator speech that I just gave to you. And in every single case, my friends, every case, they told me they were not interested. Now, this is why they told me they were not. I'm a curious guy, right? Okay, I can respect that. No problem. You're not interested. Do you mind me asking why? In every single case, they said to me, Dustin, you know how it is. I'm so dang busy right now. I can barely keep up with the lender work that I have. Now, folks, I want that to settle in and I want that to sit with you for just a second while we go to the break. And then I want to come back and share with you what happened on the fourth individual and the principal. I want to pause here and remind you of a great company that I use every single day. I was just using it literally three minutes before I logged on to this podcast to find out what my numbers were. It is a new month as I am recording this. In fact, it is the first day of the month, and I wanted to see how we did last month. We were down. Uh, we had dropped significantly, in fact, 17% uh, from the month previous. Now, that doesn't mean that we're in trouble. That means that we were really, really busy two months ago, and now we're just busy, not really, really busy. Right? I would even say we're really busy, just not really, really busy. How do I know this? A now software. Immediately. Within three seconds, I knew exactly where we stand. I knew exactly what this month looks like from last month. In fact, I get an email every month that tells me how many orders we had this month versus last month, what our revenue is this month versus last month. It automatically comes to me, folks. This is so easy. It is a no-brainer. Anow.com. And please, will you use the coupon code PODCAST30? If you do, you will get 30% off. 30%, three zero. Folks, that's a third, right? Well, almost a third. That's a third off for the first three months. PODCAST30. All right, folks, welcome back to the program. Uh, started by sharing with you a story, a true story that happened to me recently in another state. I was doing some investing. I called uh, four appraisers. Now, the first three were not interested in working with me because they're too damn busy with lender work. The fourth one was very interested in working with me. He and I have developed a great relationship. I've gone back and forth with him on a couple of these properties and different things that I needed uh, from my perspective. He was very willing to accommodate. The price is right. He knows his stuff. He knows what he's doing. He gets it. He gets it. Why? Is he busy? Sure he's busy. Is he doing lender work? Out his ears. He sees the bigger picture, folks. I want this to settle in for just a little bit. Four appraisers called, one interested in working with me long term, even after I told them that I want to send them money for the next couple of years. I want to open up my wallet. I want to give you my cash because I am in need of your services. And they weren't interested. Why? Well, they're too damn busy with lender work. Appraisers, listeners, my friends, you are not always going to be busy with lender work. The interest rates will rise. Maybe not this year, maybe not this month. Maybe not three years from now, they will rise. I'm guessing it'll happen much shorter than three years from now. Where are you positioning yourself for the future? Do you see opportunities? I'll be honest with you. Got off the phone with the second person that I called, and I said to my wife, these appraisers are ridiculous. Do they really think they're going to be that busy long term? I would kill to have someone call me up and say to me, I want to send you private work, not just now, not just next week, but for the next two years. I would bend over backward to put priority into that opportunity. I hope you will too. I hope you will also join me at the All-Star Team. Folks, I cannot tell you what a joy it is to be a part of this journey together with the All-Star Team. Check it out. You can do it for free. Absolutely, you can join the All-Star Team for free. All you have to do is go to my website, theappraisercoach.com, and at checkout, use the coupon code FREEALLSTAR30. Free All Star 30, and you can try it for 30 days. We'll see you there. You've been listening to the Appraiser Coach Podcast with Dustin Harris. If you like what you hear, please give us a five-star rating and post a short review on iTunes. For more in-depth insider information on how you can make more money as a real estate appraiser, visit theappraisercoach.com and sign up for the All-Star Team today. Thanks for joining us. And now, get out there and create some value.